Hey everyone, it's Cassandra Peterson, aka Elvira, and I'm back for In Search of Darkness, Part 3. Tape Revolution brought a new appreciation for horror films. It was like this damn bro. And it changed everything. Terrific! I think everybody with a camera and 10 bucks made their own horror movies back then. It was rental that made the thing explode. This hopped up exploitation, a rawness and a grittiness. Big and bald over the top and we were at a party. I kind of gravitated straight to the horror section. Too many bombs! <laughs> the sense has definitely clamped down on what was acceptable. Well, parents and psychologists are very concerned. Kind of a hysteria. The satanic panic I thought was ridiculous. All I ever wanted to do was figure out where I could get a Ouija board. I want to try this thing out. It's that story, The Monkey's Paw. Be careful what you wish for. Audiences now really appreciate this stuff. There's a link between heavy metal and horror. I was the DJ. It's the sweeping sensation. You're right here, right now. It's unimaginable that people still care about this movie. Yeah, the band are actually from hell. What do you know? A weaponized guitar. It's like the first sort of heavy metal horror movie for kids. That movie came out right at the right time for my puberty. There's just tons and tons of new horror movies being made all the time. It really creeped them out. It shocked people that somebody would break the rules as much as we did. But it worked out good for me. I'm back and I'm kicking ass. The mixture of humor and horror and social satire. They were just a little tease. It's beautiful. It's fresh bodies, fresh bodies. You can tear up the furniture. You can't believe the shit that's going on. <laughs> Evil kids are always going to be scary. You're going to die, die, die. What are you talking about? There's a lot of love and craft that I really appreciate. I thought I could create magic. It was diabolical. <laughs> it's so grimy and slimy. It's unbearable to watch. I might have been a bit too much for mainstream audience. I rode that appeal. Something wrong with him. He makes this kind of move. Practical effects of the 80s. Sometimes they were not so glorious. The most doofusy looking monster that you could imagine. No, I wasn't worried about it going too far. I was worried about it not going far enough. <laughs> we were just kids having fun. We're making movies. We're doing what we love. And that's why we love these movies so much to this day. People should champion anything that they enjoy. That's how you keep things alive. What do you want? I want you to stop me. These movies aren't going to go away. It's one of the things that I am most proud of doing. I'm very nostalgic for the 80s. I could watch 80s horror movies on a loop forever. Hmm, <laughs> I see so many murders, so little time.
It's not cranberry sauce.